Hey everyone, thanks for coming by the channel again. Uh, a bit of a different video today. We're going to be talking about problems with shipping to Canada and how to avoid paying crazy brokerage fees. I'm sure some of you, you know, you've ordered an online or something and it's coming from somewhere in Europe or it's coming from the States or it's coming from China or Japan or something and then you get an email, you know, while it's in transit saying that you owe uh, some sort of huge brokerage fee to DHL, UPS, uh, FedEx, that type of thing. Or maybe the delivery driver made an attempted delivery at your front door and they say there's a big charge on delivery that you are completely unexpecting. Often these charges can be pretty, uh, pretty high. I ordered a item a few years ago that was $60 US. So it was about $80 Canadian at the time. UPS wanted to charge me an additional $42 just to give me the package. I'd already paid for shipping. They just wanted $42 to bring it to my door because it came from another country. It's completely unacceptable. And as Canadians, we get screwed pretty hard on these international shipments. I'm sure we've all been victim to this. It's a huge scam that UPS is the worst one for it. I would say DHL is the second worst. FedEx is not as bad as either of those two. And Purolator, I haven't had any issues with Purolator. I I'm not sure if Purolator is only in Canada or if they handle international shipments or not, but I haven't really had any issues with them. The two big culprits are UPS and DHL. So here in this video, I'll break down the steps to clear your own package through customs because that's the big sticking point is they want to charge you additional for clearing the package through customs. And that's what I, out of principle, refuse to pay. You'll never feel like you have to pay those brokerage fees because you don't have to do it. So before we get started, please consider subscribing to the channel. It helps with the channel a lot, especially small channels like this. Every couple subs, you know, helps, uh, helps a lot. If you find this video useful and that type of thing, please leave a like, uh, drop a comment if you have any questions or anything with that and I'll help you out. I try to respond to every comment or almost every comment I get. Here you go. These are the steps you're gonna have to take to clear your own package through Canadian customs. Step one, contact your courier and delivery company and tell them that you plan to self-clear your package. They need to know that you're gonna be clearing the package yourself through Canadian Customs. That's a big deal. The person you're talking to at the delivery company, UPS, DHL, or whatever, may know this process and they may know what documents you need, but some of them won't. Basically, what you need from them is the invoice and the shipping label along, along with your delivery notice and tracking number. So you'll have an invoice. They'll also have an invoice usually. They'll have a bill of lading or some sort of shipment information that's for the package itself. And then you'll have your tracking number and all that stuff. This basically proves to them that number one, you ordered the package. Number two, what you ordered is actually what's in that package. And number three, actually identifying the package itself to be the right box or the right envelope. Step two, you take this documentation and you go to your local CBSA office. Now these offices are all over Canada. I'm in the Edmonton area. So my local CBSA office is the Edmonton International Airport, just south of town. I'll put a link down below for where you can find your local CBSA office. So you're gonna speak to the officer at the counter and tell them you want to self-clear a shipment. You'll need ID that proves that you live at the address that the shipment is going to, if I remember correctly. You will always need to pay GST on the item. That's a bare minimum. So that'll be 5% of the declared value of the item. The seller is, or the person who sends you the item is the person that creates the declared value. So if they say the item is worth $300 US, you will pay 5% on the conversion of $300 US to Canadian. Next, I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, if your item is manufactured outside of the countries in NAFTA, so that is Canada, the US, and Mexico, if your item is made outside of those countries, you will also have to pay an additional 6.1% duty on top of that 5% GST. So in total, you'd be looking at 11.1% maximum that you should be paying for any item for self-clearing. Remember to be nice to the person at the CBSA office. They're not the ones trying to screw you out of your money here. They're actually the ones that are trying to help you with a service, that, with a free service that you already pay for with your tax dollars. So just keep that in mind. Don't get mad at them. You might be frustrated that your package is delayed or that UPS wants to screw you out of potentially hundreds of dollars just because they feel like getting more profits. It's not the person at the CBSA office's fault. They're actually the ones helping you out. So make sure you be nice to them. After you pay, the CBSA office is going to hand you what's called a B-15. I'm going to show you two B-15s here. I'm going to black out the information that's personal so you guys can see what they look like. These were both low quality photos that I just took on my phone or low quality scans so they're not going to look that nice but this is what a B-15 looks like. It's going to have what's called a BB number on it and that's the actual number that you'll have to provide later. So that is step two. Step three, you need to provide the courier or the shipment company that B-15 document. You're giving them the document and you're saying, 
hey, look, I've paid the taxes and duties on this item. You have no reason to hold it anymore. Please give me my item. Usually this is done via email. So you'll need a way to scan that document you got because you'll have a paper B15. You need a way to scan that into something you can email, whether that's a PDF or an image, I don't think it really matters. You can do this with your smartphone with uh, something called Office Lens. That's if you have an Office 365 subscription like I do. If you don't, there's an app called Simple Scan. As well, if you have a newer model Samsung, I know it works on the Samsungs, I don't know anything about the other uh, Android phones. You'll be, you could be able to scan directly from your, your camera app on some phones. You gotta make a decent scan so that the shipping company can read it. And then you're gonna email that off to an email address that they'll probably provide. With UPS, UPS seems pretty streamlined. They're used to people self-declaring and self-clearing their packages as opposed to DHL, which was much worse at it. So UPS actually, they have a specific person that you email and they'll get back to you saying, we've received your B15. Your package is good and cleared and we'll deliver it to you next business day or next two business days, something like that. DHL was far worse. It took me calling and calling and calling again and again, emailing different people with my B15, just say, hey, I'm done, give me my package. I've done what I need to do, give me my package. I was able to get the package delivered by contacting the local DHL warehouse and they sorted it out. Three weeks later, I got a call back or I got an email back from the actual person from DHL who I was supposed to send the B15 to saying, hey, I see your item's already been delivered. Thanks for using DHL or something like that. So DHL, you might have a bit more legwork to do to just give them that B15 so that they can give you the package. Step four is just wait for delivery. Once you've confirmed the shipping companies received the B15, you just have to wait. They should get it to you within a business day or two. And with that, there should be no charge on delivery. The driver should just come up and be able to drop the package off at your front door or get you to sign for it. That's pretty much it. I hope this helps people with clearing their packages and saving some money. It's insane that we have to make videos like this just to educate people. And it's crazy that some people don't know this, but it's really important that you do this because otherwise these shipping companies, especially to us Canadians, they hose us. They screw us over every step of the way. Shipping is way more expensive to Canada than anywhere in the States. Clearing items through customs is not hard. So please don't pay these companies exorbitant brokerage fees. These fees are insane and they shouldn't be allowed to, to charge them. So. Please make sure you're self-clearing your packages whenever possible. I do it out of principle for every package. I don't care if it costs me gas money to go to the airport and back, which it does, because the airport here in, in the Edmonton area is out of town. So it's, it's 40 minutes one way to the airport by car and it's 40 minutes back, but I do it every time because I will not pay UPS brokerage fees. I refuse to. Consider doing that as well because these fees are a scam and I don't understand how consumer adv advocacy groups haven't caught on to this. I don't understand how it hasn't made news. Nobody talks about this. Make sure you know what you're doing. Self-clear your packages. Don't pay them exorbitant fees just to give you your package when you've already paid shipping. Anyways, like I said earlier, drop a like if you enjoyed the content. Subscribe, please consider subscribing and leave a comment if you have any questions. I'll try to answer as many as I can. Thanks, have a good day.